Hi and hello friends. Today we are going to learn on human migration. That is one of your main subject uh, in the syllabus for class 9 plus class 10 human migration and this migration word many of you are learning and human do you know the migration is something very new to some of you but it is not new to those who are watching televisions and all now because lot of migration which had taken place from our areas they had gone out to work for livelihood you know because the certain reasons are there they had gone out to work and in that area where they had gone they had stayed very long period of time maybe 10 years 12 years 13 years or some of them are living there they have their own properties and settled down perfectly well there that is migration they have gone to live in that place that is what we call migration in simpler or if you look in your textbook you will find a very clear definitions which is telling us that when human being leave certain place of where they were born or where they were settled and move to another place for livelihood or for livelihood means they go to another place to work and to earn their living and live there for a long period of time it is called human migration and in India human migration has taken place in lakhs when the lockdown was relaxed or when the lockdown was implemented in our country we saw in the televisions in the news we read and we understood how many people have left their villages their home and they had gone out to different cities and states to work and they were working there and when the lockdown period started we could start realizing their difficulties and their problems as they were coming back because of the lockdown we will not go to that part of the very bad part for these people you know my heart goes out to them to see so many died and so many I don't know what happened their life really you know it really up it went upside down we saw a mother carrying a small boy and pulling him on the suitcase you know it was very bad to see all those things and some of them cycling a girl imagine she cycled with her father from Delhi to her place in Bihar or UP I don't know no she cycled man carrying her uh, I mean sick father she carried all the way what an effort but then what a problem it was so depressing to see you know how these people carrying whatever they had earned they were coming back because of the lockdown or because of the corona so these were people who had migrated and they were working there now what are some of the reasons why these people migrate now there are four to five different um, types of migration we'll come to different types of migration now some migration is short distance means we migrate from one village to another village or one town to another town within a very short distance that is one form of migration and this is another type of migration that is uh, long distance little longer maybe within the state we are moving from one place to another place within the state long distance 
Then there is internal migration. Means when we go for working from our place of work, uh, birth, and we go to maybe Kerala, Delhi, Bombay, Hyderabad to work, that is another internal migration. Then the last one is international migration. That is we are going out of our country, out of our country, and we are going to some other countries in search in place of work because some of us are means some of our parents are there some of our relatives are there or sometimes we go to study to these countries and there we start getting work and we settle down there some of you some of, of uh, Indians means practically are born there brought up there that is international migration and these are different types of major types of migration that we find in our world one is short distance long distance internal within the country and another one is international where we migrate to different place of the world in search of work now what are the major reasons why we migrate why are what are the some major reasons there might be so many other reasons you might have your own type of reasons but what does the book says the major reasons of migration you will find that these are very important questions that is being asked in our geography elective why people migrate village a real Indian village how much does it offer as an opportunity for people to find work you get qualified you get educated then you realize that in the village there is no place there is lack of opportunities because the village doesn't simply start growing within a 10 years for a village to grow into a town it might take 20 plus years so there is very lack of opportunities for employment not only employment for any spheres of life very lack of opportunities means there is hardly any place within the village where you can get employment government has mendrega great that is one form of employment they're doing for the people of the village but we find that it also has some problems and difficulties but up beyond that we find the mystery work we find uh, everything women basically what is related in the village is agricultural work so if you are interested in agriculture into becoming a farmer I think village is the place where you should come and stick in the village so that your agricultural desire or your agricultural uh, aim in life you can fulfill it if you are living in the city you can't practice that agriculture no some do that in the small area of their courtyard or in the lawn or in the terrace there people are growing different types of vegetables great you know wonderful to see in a small space area they grow many things for themselves because I feel their roots the place where they were born before they migrated to that place it has come from the village they, they were once villagers as we are called by people villagers so please remember this migration takes place from the village because of lack of opportunities and our country is full of villages you know we have I don't know how many different different villages I mean number of villages are it must be in lakhs the villages anyway the next one is social and communal violence social and communal violence social fighting tension between 
one another between maybe a tribe to another tribe maybe a from caste to another caste or within the family within the family or within the village you cannot adjust of the village people chase you out or it can be because of other reasons maybe it might can be maybe religious reasons because you cannot practice your religion in that place you migrate to some other place so these are social things which causes people to migrate then there is another one which is called communal that is because of internal disturbance from one community to another community when there is no harmony when there is no love between one community to another community there is violence and our society had experienced this and still many societies in india are experiencing this communal violence and hatred which is causing people to migrate from one place to another place very sad very bad and the third one i like to say is educational facilities in the village is not available the village doesn't have that qualified recognize institutions where children of the village can study they have to seek admission to some other far off places to get educated or qualified or to be uh, in the creamy layer or in the high society for the roots it is too far to the branch for the people in the village they cannot go into the very best colleges and institutions in our country very few go very the very top level goes but rest you know majority of us we tend to go to the nearest colleges and universities which are okay fine i don't say they are not good but then always under the ugc or whatever you know they grade the institutions according to the type of uh, employment they generate some of the best colleges universities and all you know if you are qualified if you have a degree from those kind of universities people immediately respect you and they start uh, uh, giving you high regards because you have studied into those kind of universities or on those kind of schools and college st xavier you know if if you had studied in st xavier's or some of these great institutions in india immediately people realize that yes this person has come from a very good and qualified institutions recognized all over in india and there are so many international schools you know where education you can partake best maybe the teaching method is greater better or they have more qualified teachers qualified and dedicated teachers who can work and serve and uplift and challenge the students you know motivate the students to uh, do good in their studies but in the village or in the college level in the local college areas we don't get that motivation we don't get the desire created in our institutions and colleges to encourage these children from the village you know to reach higher go higher or go beyond so those kind of facilities are not available in our uh, village level educational facilities then we have medical facilities are not available in the village no medical maybe so many other things you can keep on adding you can keep on adding you know some may, might be political reasons by why people migrate or leave or go to some other place so we talked about almost the whole thing you know there's so many reasons we can migrate or we can or you might think of migrating and those reasons if you clearly think properly you know you will find many reasons why we, people human migration takes place but in our textbook this very few are mentioned so i will mention this only you can add into your answers other things which you find it very important that is fine i don't think any examiners 
will uh, give you minus marks for that if you add something beyond what is in the textbook but it should have valid points and reasons so please these are the reasons why human migration takes place from the village to the cities to the towns to the uh, different states and then internationally why migration takes place so if you have a desire to migrate to another place please do go ahead i encourage you to expand yourself you know go beyond where you are don't be in the same pond where we are go out reach out search see the place and when you come back from this place i think you will really understand how far the disadvantages we have in the village but don't grumble at this moment of time living in our village is the best you know best part living in our villages because of the pandemic which has gone around the world living in the village is the safest place on earth right now so i enjoy my village i really enjoy my village and i am sure very soon you know the temperature outside is quite warm quite warm you know so we feel lazy but surely one day i will show you around the village that i live in very soon it should be maybe coming saturday or sunday i'll go out and i'll show you my village and show you what all are surrounding my village where we live in and many of you had asked me to show that and i'll surely show you how my village looks and where we are living and what all things are happening around this place so children please keep it up in your studies and this is for class 9 and 10 students on human migrations now i have just mentioned this reasons now in the next block i will talk to you about the drawbacks why human migration is bad or sad part of it until then thank you very much and please continue watching learning why human migration takes place or many other things which i will try to teach you through this blog thank you for supporting me and i wish you the best as you stay safe in your homes thank you